today's adventure, we're taking a ferry to Drummond Island, which is right behind me, over here. So it's a short ferry ride, and we're gonna go explore Drummond Island. We got Lake Huron over this shoulder, and if we go this way, head north, you go through a bunch of different channels, go up to the Sioux Locks, and then you're on Lake Superior. What do you think? Um, it was a little freaky coming in because um, he's like telling us to go over and over and we're literally inches from these pillars here and I was starting to wonder if he knew that we had dualies that we needed to watch but he didn't see but he was just go 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 so I'm kind of excited I kind of always wanted to go to Drummond Island um, and it's nothing like it's like I think a lesser known Michigan Island but it is also just as beautiful if not better because there's not many people and it has really pretty um, shorelines and that's where you can find some put in rocks um, and some kind of just more not as busy kind of area so I'm excited all right we are off the dock and moving Ooh, I better pay attention. And check out sick. how close we are on the edge of this boat <laughs> <laughs> the dock to give you some perspective. Alright, now we're free. Cute little island out there. So, yay, we made it to Drummond Island. But where we're parked on the ferry will probably be some of the last ones off, but that's fine. Because I don't know where I'm going anyway. I'll just be blocking all these people as we're trying to navigate and figure it out. So this island's actually a little bigger than we expected it to be and it's not that big but we're already lost. So we found the visitors information center and Julie ran in there to see if we can get a better map. Um, we're surrounded by water but we can't find water. <laughs> Alright so sadly sad. this is the end of our Drummond Island video tour. Um, I can only imagine you're as disappointed as we are. We're on an island and they, you can't Literally. get to a damn beach. Literally surrounded by water and their brochure and their little visitor guide says over 150 or 146 miles. Miles of, of coastline. coastline. Because all these little coves and jetties and Oh my gosh, it looks like from the maps, it looks gorgeous. But the problem is everywhere you go, it's private property. And there's like nowhere to pull off, nowhere to park. All these do not enter, keep out, private property. Like all these signs just like chewing you away. Yeah. And like we have driven, I don't know, I'm going to say freaking three hours. Um, at this point in time, we did find, there is, according to the map, two public beaches. One, we got to, um, it probably was about a hundred feet long and on each Private side. Private property on both, both opposing sides, sides with so fences. That you couldn't even walk then the shoreline that is 150 miles of shoreline because it was all private property. Keep out, do not enter, private property. And so that was that one beach. And then now we just went to the other township park. Um, and there's a sign that says beach. But it is literally a two track that a car can barely fit down going to and it goes on and you, we didn't even go to the beach. We couldn't find it. And there and then there's no parking area. You can't even park there. So there's nowhere. We're, oh, we're in the middle of a field somewhere yeah. that we had to pull off because there is nowhere to park even though it says this is the township park. I am so disappointed. I feel so frustrated because all of what I've heard, all of what I've been reading, of how, how wonderful, and this is the place to go for paddle boarding, this is the place to go for biking and hiking. So here we are bringing the paddle boards and the bike, thinking we're gonna have some good bike trails, we brought shoes for hiking trails. Yeah, they've got the trails, but you have nowhere to park. You literally, if anything, can park in town, and now you've gotta somehow bike the 500 miles to go to a hike. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, I'm not even going off And they're that. all ORV trails. So you're trying to mountain bike or walk, and then right. you got all these ORVs screaming by right. you, kicking up dust and dirt, 
you know, that's no fun. So it might be a really great island if you have a Jeep or an ORV that you only want to do inland stuff and never see the beach. If you want something like that, then this island would be for you. Needless to say, you guys are getting our raw feelings right now, of feeling completely frustrated of now spending, I don't know, we're gonna say four hours on this island total so far, trying to find places and there's no one here and the locals here aren't very friendly, very put upon that you're asking them questions. So it's almost like they don't even want people here anyway. But this is kind of, again, showing reality of like everybody on YouTube, everybody all over makes things look like perfect and amazing and oh, we're always having a wonderful time. Um, they don't show you these moments where they went to go somewhere and it was a complete bust. So after that miserable day on Drummond Island, <laughs> we found this amazing beach. Go to drone footage. And we're hanging out here now. So don't go to Drummond Island. There's a bunch of little beaches like, like this. There's a bunch of little beaches like this along the way. This one's really sandy, some are rocky. But there's something for everyone if you're looking for water and beaches here. Just not on Drummond Island. This is the highway to go to the ferry to Drummond Island. So stop short, have a good time. What do you think? Perfect. So I've never gone swimming in Lake Huron before. It's July. This is shallow, but it's pretty warm. So, got some swimming attire on. Maggie's ready. Let's do this. Oh, careful. <laughs> He's yelling black fly, the black flies are coming out. <laughs> oh. He's been over there. I'm my head back over there. Oh my, that is a David Hasselhoff. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching everyone. And if you like this video more than we like Drummond Island, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification and you'll be notified every time we upload a new adventure.